So can I go back in time before all this bullshit happened? Nope. There is, however, once we beat the game, we get access to a special mode. So, I choose to do the uh, correct choice, the good end, which is to travel back to the prologue instead of walking the school, turning around and walking away. I mean, you didn't have a choice. Makoto just kind of walks in the school, even if you don't want to. Yeah, I know. If I'm remembering. Okay. Alright, guys. Welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa. Uh, in the last episode, uh, we saw an alternate future in which uh, people had sex with one woman, like three different guys did. And then we saw the real future, which is us being dumped in the trash. Yep. That's a good synopsis, right? <laughs> yes. Alright. Is that an airplane? How'd something like that wind up in the school's garbage pit? You don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to, Makoto. That's a rocket and a tank. I'd better not think too much about what I'm seeing down here. Do you remember about that game? The rocket at the very beginning of the game, yes. I don't really yes. remember the tank, though. This is a desk. It's probably the one that fell down here with me. It wasn't the tank. It was just the rocket, yeah. I mean, yeah. A lot of people don't pick up on that. A lot of people instantly forget about the fucking thing you saw in the very beginning of the game. Oh yeah, no, I I remember things like that. Well, it's locked, rattle rattle. No matter how many times I pushed or pulled or kicked at all, it didn't budge. Getting out of here isn't going to be that easy. Well, I'm not getting out of here anytime soon. I decided to look around for some food. There's plenty of food here, but it's all rotten. But that was pointless like too. The trash. Next, I search for some water. How can I be sure which liquids I can drink and which ones are an all-around bad idea? Again, pointless. I feel like I'm blocked in all sides. But that's still not enough reason to give up, because because I'm still alive. As long as I'm alive, I'll never give up. I am now I'm a shonen alive. protagonist, and I'm going to... I don't know. Or you could be GLaDOS. Fair enough. After making that proud declaration, the next thing I decided to do was eat myself. Go sleep. to sleep. <laughs> My sleep was deep and interrupted. That was Move. the only way to preserve what little strength I had left after not being able to eat or drink. I can't be sure, but I think at least a full day had to have passed, and all I did was sleep and sleep. It was like I was waiting for some kind of sign to come falling out of the sky. However, what fell from the sky wasn't a sign, not exactly. Ka crunch. It was more trash. What the? The strange sound pierced my silent isolation, jarring me awake. As I watched, the pile of garbage jostled and formed an odd shape. Did something fall down over there? Something fell from up above. What could it have been? It's called trash. Did a giant piece of trash just fall down here? I carefully stretched my hand out toward whatever it was that tumbled down here with me. Just a second. Giant piece of trash? Great. Before she even emerged from the pile of garbage, I knew who it was. It's... <laughs> <laughs> and she's got cup noodle on her head. Say hello to cup noodle Kirigiri. Kyoko? This place smells awful. She had read you it. You look like you're doing better than I expected. What are you doing here? Oh, isn't it obvious? I'm here to help you. I'm glad to hear that, Kyoko. Um. Mm. You've got a bit of garbage in your hair. She gave her head a quick, sharp shake to get rid of the trash, then faced me again. Hey. First, I have something for you. Go ahead and eat it. We can talk once you're finished. Thank you. I snatched the bread and water that she was holding out for me. Within seconds, it was in my mouth and making its way towards my stomach. Oh, that would really hit the spot. Man, that's a way to describe the act of eating, Makoto. Now I've got all the energy I need to keep going. So you still haven't given up then? Of course not. After all, the fact that I can keep going forward is about as is about all I'm good at. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not such a bad thing to be good at. Okay. Well, I guess we can keep talking. But Kyoko, just a second. Why do you come to rescue me? So to pay a debt or no, to atone. 
a tone. You. During the trial, even though you knew I was lying, you didn't say anything. Not at first. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not talking about alternate reality where you forcibly manipulated me. So you knew that I, I knew. Know. Indeed. But even though I knew I did nothing to help you, um, I abandoned you. Don't say that. You didn't abandon me. No, that's exactly what I did. I abandoned you in order to save my own life. You were trying to save me and I couldn't bring myself to do the same for you. However... But listen, not that I'm trying to make excuses, but... There was a reason that I had to survive, no matter the cost. Why did you have to survive? It's true. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. The reason I had to survive... In other words... ...is so that I can do what I came to this school to do. What? I made up my mind to come to Hope Speak Academy for one very important reason. So you have come for some reason? So you have some reason for coming to Hope Speak? Indeed. That's right, at least. I did once. Once? I... Until recently, I'd forgotten what it was. You forgot? But that's... Amnesia. Almost as impossible as being locked into a really famous school and forced to kill each other? That's crazy, Makoto. Then is it really true you lost your memory? Makoto. Do you remember Makoto? Do you remember the first thing that happened to each of us as soon as we arrived at this school? We got knocked the fuck out! The first thing? You're talking about when we fainted, right? I fainted and when I woke up, I was trapped here. That's right. I fainted too, and when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself. A disconnect. It would seem... Thinking back on it now, at that point, my memory was gone. At that time, I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to the school, and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. But what would make you forget all that? Hey. Strange, isn't it? Hard to imagine it happened by chance. Seems much too convenient. Are you saying you think you've lost your memory because... Indeed. I don't think. I'm positive it was the work of the Mastermind. They stole my memory. But why would they want to do that? There's only one reason I can come up with. Because of my purpose and my ability, somehow they would interfere with the Mastermind's plans. So the Mastermind just stole them from you? However... And it could also mean... Somehow my memories may be connected to the mystery of the school and the mastermind. Which is why I have to get them back. That's why I've been investigating things by myself this whole time. But, what, but if what you say is true, why didn't you just ask the rest of us to help you? Why is that? If I did that and we all worked as one, the mastermind would have noticed right away. Plus... There's always the chance that the Mastermind is actually one of us. What? Correct. Well, don't make too big a deal of it. It's just a possibility. But since it is a possibility, we can't ignore it, right? Mastermind one of us? If she believed that, then of course she couldn't trust anyone around her. In which case, it only makes sense that she would look into her missing memory by herself. However... That being said, there was a limit to what I could do by myself, which is why I asked you to help me. But why me? <laughs> because among everyone, you were the least likely to be the mastermind. That was just intuition. Oof. Take a huge step back. You're saying that Hero is more likely to be the mastermind behind all this than me? I Oof. mean, some people play idiot and then like... Yeah, oh. I don't think it's possible to play that much of an idiot. I see. And, you know. Your intuition was right, though. There's no way for an Ori kid like me, to, like me, could have been the mastermind. I understand. I should understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's to stay here. <clears throat> it's just like the dream I had before. But why did that just happen? Listen. 
Are you okay? Oh, yeah. It's nothing. It is nothing, right? Hey. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Even now, I still trust you, you know? It's just, I'm not used to relying on others. Correct. I know I never asked you for help the right way, so I can understand if you're not convinced. Honestly, I was convinced. I think that's just her personality. We simping, boys. Okay. Okay, let's keep doing this. You said you had a reason for doing all that investigating on your own. So how'd that turn out? Were you able to remember anything? So... I think there's still a lot I don't remember, but at the very least... I was finally able to recall my purpose and my ability. Real quick, Gabe. Guess what it is. What's the ability? Ultimate What's Detective. Ultimate? Keep going. Ultimate Investigator. Ultimate I'm, I meant Sleuth. Keep going with the text thing. Oh, Ultimate, there's Sleuth. Ultimate nosy ass bitch. Yeah. You mentioned your ability. My ability, what everyone should have known me for. I'm the ultimate detective! Who would have seen that Maybe. one coming? Who would have seen that coming? <laughs> I the think it only would have been more detective. obvious if you were dressed up as fucking Conan. Yeah. Correct. And um, the reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy, there was someone I had to find here in the school. You had to find someone who? So... Well, it was the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. The headmaster? But why did you want to find the headmaster? Because he's my father. Please don't tell me you have daddy issues. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was separated from his as a child. As it turns out, he became the headmaster of Hope's Peak. Kyoko's dad is Hope's Peak's headmaster? In the wise mm. words of Hades from Descendants 3, you're stronger with those daddy issues. Okay, then that explains when Alter Ego told us how he thought the headmaster was involved. No matter what, so I'll... I... My memory hadn't come back at that point, but when he said that, I felt strange. It makes perfect sense now, of course, since my whole purpose for coming here was to find him. That makes sense. However... But listen, Makoto, I want to make this perfectly clear so there's no misunderstanding. I said that the headmaster wasn't the mastermind, but I didn't say that to protect him. I only said what I felt based on what I'd seen when I snuck into the headmaster's room. Then what did you see in there? So... The room had been ransacked, the shelves were a mess, the desk drawers dumped on the floor. The only conclusion is that someone who didn't know where anything was had been in there. You mean the mastermind, right? It's true. That was my assumption, yes, and to confirm my suspicion, I decided to investigate the second floor of the dorms using this key I found. But why there? Because I also found this in the headmaster's room. This is some kind of map? Indeed. It's a layout of the entirety of Hope's Peak Academy. I found it in the headmaster's room, along with Mukuro's profile and that key. The map showed that the second floor was home to a number of rooms meant for faculty use. Some of the staff may, must have had to stay overnight from time to time. And I figured that headmaster would have had some kind of private room there. I assumed that if this were true, the room would most likely hold more clues, so I went to check. Correct. And that's when I finally remembered. I remembered that my purpose was to find the owner of that room. So you went there to see if the headmaster really did have a private room there. However, but once I got there, I noticed that the second floor of the dorms didn't have any cameras or monitors. So what was it like, that part of the school, I mean? It's hard to describe. All I can say is... I... The moment I saw it, I realized... Whatever's going on in this school is more horrific than we ever imagined. What do you mean? So... 
I can't explain it. You need to see it for yourself, and I'm sure you'll get your chance soon enough. It sounds like it must be important and really ominous, and really just kind of like a pronoun game. However, pronoun games, we love them. Yeah. Which is why I had no idea what was going on in the rest of the building. It has to do with Mikuri Kusaba, doesn't it? The hidden 16th student lying somewhere in the school. She's known as the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Yeah. Just to be perfectly clear, I didn't kill her. And I know it wasn't you either. I know you're right, but that just means everyone but you and me had an alibi. So then who did kill her? What I can say for sure is that the mastermind is directly involved. To begin with, the point of the class trial of Mugro Ikushaba was to get me killed. Get you killed? Indeed. I stole that key and disappeared, and in retaliation they wanted to draw me out and eliminate me. Correct. That was the point of the class trial. It was? The mastermind knew they couldn't interfere directly. You mean because of the school regulations? That's right. Exactly. In other words, the mastermind is adamant about following the rules, and with that rule in place, they couldn't step in. Since they couldn't kill me themselves, they tried to use the class trial to do it. Do it. The mastermind couldn't step in because of the rules. That makes it sound like the mastermind themselves are somehow bound by the school regulations. Hey, that's one other thing I'd like to point out about the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. What's that? There's a point where Mukuru may not have become the victim. It could have been you, Makoto. I could have become the victim? Indeed. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. It when tried to stab me in the middle of the night. Do you mean... During the night? I... I can hear them, you know. The footsteps of the God of Death. What? I can hear the god of death as he moves. The ability naturally draws me into cases just like this. Anyway... Which is exactly what happened with you. I was in the dorms and I had a sudden sense of dread and I looked down the stair rail and I saw white shadow cross the corridor. I gave chase right away. As I followed it, I saw the shadow go into your room. I ran into your room and I saw what was happening. I intervened immediately, of course. However, that wasn't the end of things, of course. I stopped them, but that led to a kerfuffle. Whoever the masked assailant was, they ended up dead. Correct. And the murder was disguised, and the dojo key wound up in my room. It all has to be the work of the mastermind in an attempt to use a class trial to eliminate me. So all this would mean that whoever killed Mikuro is also the mastermind, right? Indeed. I don't have conclusive evidence, but that's what I think. But that's very really bad if true. It means the mastermind can kill whoever they want if they feel like it. Wait, but doesn't that create another contradiction? The mastermind wanted to use the class trial to kill, to try and kill you because that couldn't interfere, because they couldn't interfere, right? You're right, that is a contradiction. And it's not just Mikuro. They needed a class trial to kill me, but seemed ready to kill you in your room. Everything they did is a contradiction. So what does it all mean? In other words... It means that the mastermind is the one who's been cornered. Huh? Makoto. Just a little more. <laughs> Not the last time we'll be hearing that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> a little more and I should be able to figure out the mastermind's identity. Haha, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> the identity of the other ultimate despair. The other ultimate despair? There's no doubt that Mukuro was the ultimate despair and that she's dead. But I don't think the ultimate despair is just one person. It's not? Indeed. If you think about it, the ultimate despair seems to implicate whoever caused that event. You're talking about... What happened a year ago? The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. 
the tragedy. Whoever is responsible for that, they're the ultimate despair? That despicable group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. Then they're... Make no mistake. They're the root of all the evil that has forced us to go through this. That is the ultimate despair. And that is our real enemy. Boom, bada bing, bada boom, bada do, bada dee, bada ba, bada ga, la la la. Alright, so we still have a bunch of talking ahead of us. Six. Um, to be cunt. The Dream, Dream Island, Island Rocket. Rocket. Yep. Uh, five alive. Achievement get. Six Wait. alive. No, that was the achievement name. Five alive. Chipped and finished chapter five. Oh, okay. There's six alive, though. Well, yes, but, but it was for it being alive at the end of chapter five. Yes, I know, but the way that it's worded is weird. I mean... Do you think there's only six alive? <gasps> Do you think there's not? Yes. Okay. Sorry, I'm just putting on some socks because my feet are getting cold because I have my windows open so it doesn't overheat my computer. Because I have yet to be able to buy the new parts. The ultimate despair, hidden somewhere in the school. <laughs> a group of people who caused the tragedy one year ago. The same people put together this killing game and began broadcasting it around the world. The most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the Mastermind's true identity. Our enemy has finally been revealed. But right now... Anyway... Right now, we have to get out of this horrible place. Figuring out the rest of the story can come after that. Yeah, you're right. Before we do anything... Present time. Six, seven, eight. Sixteen. Okay, so these sixteen are from that extra mode that you mentioned because they're yes. exactly sixteen and they're sixteen students. Yes. There's... Those are all their underwear. This is the one that we get for doing this chapter. Yes. And then we're done. Yes. Also, I forgot that it was underwear. God. Yeah. <laughs> Kyoko, do you still have that one thing? Monokuma's secret tool that you got from the headmaster's room? Indeed. Of course I do. Nah, I jumped down here without it. I figured that would be a good yeah. idea. <laughs> it's absolutely a vital part of ensnaring the mastermind. I would never part with it. I literally stick it up my hoo-ha anytime I am, like, unconscious. Mm. Like, I have to sleep. Mm. And it can open any door in the school, right? That's right. Then we should be able to use it on that door, right? I mean, it has a keyhole in the center of it for some reason. Hey, Kyoko, we can use the key of yours to open this door, right? It's true. Let's find out. Kyoko took out the key with the Monokuma design on it. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and slid it into the keyhole. And then, click. Yes, it opened. Indeed. And now we can get out of here, so let's go. Sounds good. We could open the door and made a w escape from the garbage pits. Finally, we were finally free, but there wasn't even time to take a breath of relief, because the real fight had just begun. Chapter 6. Ultimate pain, ultimate suffering, ultimate despair, ultimate execution, ultimate death. Isn't that deadly pain, deadly suffering, deadly despair, mm. deadly execution, deadly death. Yep. Yeah. Uh, after leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves in a tunnel extending straight up like a chimney. There was a metal ladder leading up into the tunnel. We started climbing the ladder, intent on reaching the surface. Damn the it, ladder... oh, Kyoko Penny I knew you were going to say that. The ladder was impossibly long. I couldn't even see where it ended. We climbed into darkness. The passage was so dark and cramped, I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. I, I had no idea we were so far down. Okay. Don't lose your footing. If you slip, I won't be able to catch you. Yeah, I'll be careful. But now that you said that, I'm getting kind of nervous. Maybe talking will help keep my mind off it. Um, so Kyoko, there's something I wanted to ask you. You said you're the ultimate detective, right? So how long have you been doing detective work? 
how long so uh ever since i can remember which is exactly one month because she doesn't remember in the past <laughs> well i mean she does That's yes i know I'm, I'm i'm i was making a joke i come from a long line of detectives detective work is in my blood there was a time when being a detective was considered a sacred duty. My family's always seen it that way. Then, is your family famous? Wrong. Quite the opposite, actually. We're infamous. We're terrible at our jobs. We're the second son. Uh, <laughs> even among actual detectives, many people haven't heard of us. Huh? But how come? It's like your family's tradition, right? So... Because we take pride in it. Pride? Indeed. A detective is neither light nor shadow. We represent neither justice nor evil. That is how we can uncover the absolute truth. We stand neutral in all things, and to do that, we have to stand separate from the rest of society. Which is why we've made a conscious effort to conceal our existence. A conscious effort? It's true. It's kind of old-fashioned, and I can't say it's entirely rational. But it's our family greed, and we do what we must to protect it. Because, like I said, it's our source of pride. Pride. So that explains. Before I came here, when we were looking up, in when I was looking up info about the school online, I never saw anything about her. Because she hid herself on purpose to protect the pride of her family. However, and yet. I gave up some of that pride. Huh? I... In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it knowing it was something a true Kirigiri detective would never do. But the reason you gave up that pride, the reason you would go so far to enter Hope's Peak, it was because that's how much you wanted to reconnect with your dad, right? There's no shame in that. What? Reconnect. I have absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father. Huh? But you'd be reuniting all those years, right? You wouldn't have had so much to talk. You would have had so much to talk about. There's nothing I want to talk to my father about. However, there is something I want to say to him, though. What? I. No matter what it takes, I have to find him and tell him face to face. Bitch. You were stupid what is it? bitch. So... I want to sever all ties with him. Sever? To be fair, girls with daddy issues fuck the best, so... The last time I saw him... I was still very young. So I don't remember myself, but apparently he was extremely intelligent. He was in line to become the next head of the Kirigiri family. He was talented, he had a promising future, However, but he had no interest in detective work, so he cut himself off from the family. Not long after that, my mother died, and he simply ran away. He went to my grandfather, and they had a huge argument, and young as I was, he left me behind. I'm sure there was a reason for that. I'm sure your dad wanted to take you with him. Right. If that's true, then I need to thank him. Thank him for leaving me. Because unlike him, I take pride in the work I do. I take pride in my family name. So every last part of me is happy he didn't take me with him. Okay. Keep telling yourself that. If I'd gone with him, I never would have had the chance to become a detective. I was above Kyoko on the ladder, so I wasn't able to see her expression. So I couldn't Or her tell. panties. What the fuck? It was pointless. <sighs> I couldn't see how she looked when she said that, what she might have been feeling. All I could tell was that, compared to her usual self, she was more talkative. And more emotional. I... I don't blame him, you know. He had his own life to live. And that's what anyone in my position might say, right? But it's not true. However... But there's one thing. One thing that I can never forgive. Really? So... The way everyone else looked at me. I was never sad about being left behind. Like I said, I think it was a good thing. However, But when the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. They only saw me as the little girl that was abandoned by her father. That's how they see me even to this day. I... 
His shadow has been following me my entire life. I'm sick of it. I need him out of my life, and I need to step out of his shadow. Correct. That's why I have to find him and tell him we're no longer family. In order to settle the past. In order to remove him from my life forever. I have no doubt he's forgot about me years ago. But your family to just cut him out like that. Our only connection is through blood, nothing more. Are we connected by heart and soul? No. Hey. Is blood really enough to call someone family? We connected by blood, not by heart or soul. I was so shocked to hear her say something like that, I didn't know how to respond. So instead, I said nothing. And I, I fell just kept up climbing the ladder and I died. Concussions! <sighs> In complete silence. And after I don't know how long, we finally reached the top. Looks like this is it. Indeed. On the other side of this door, Hope's Peak is waiting for us. That door is a lot bigger than it should be. That trap door. Okay. Because when we saw it, I'm assuming this is going to pop up in the garbage room. Because when we saw that, it did not look very big at all. So I guess that's just the dumb perspective of this game. We're back. That's right. Remember that hatch on the ground in the trash room? Ha, <laughs> got it. I'm fairly certain that's where we'll come out. I unlocked it earlier so it shouldn't open without much trouble. Well, here goes nothing. I reached my right hand up and pushed up against the hatch. And it didn't budge. The hatch opened with ease and so... Looks like we're back. But I can't believe how long that ladder was. I'm exhausted. Can't exactly say we're safe and sound, but at least we're out of there. Now we're back in Hope's Peak Academy. Kyoko, thank you. I never would have gotten out of there without you. No thanks necessary. I was just returning the favor. So now what do we do? I'm glad I didn't die, of course, but if the Mastermind finds out... I'm worried about you too, you helped me so they might... Listen. You're worried? Yeah, of course. So then. then let's get a concrete answer. Huh? In other words, let's ask Monokuma if there's a problem with you escaping. Wait, that's... However, if we try to hide, it's only a matter of time till we're found out. It's not like we can run away. As she said that, she pointed at the nearby surveillance camera. So you're saying rather than stressing out over getting caught, we should just give up now? Don't worry, what you think is going to happen isn't. Because... Because the Mastermind is the one who's ensnared. The Mastermind is ensnared. She said something like that before, what does it mean? So... The Mastermind stood exposed during the investigation into Mukuro's death. That was a moment where the Mastermind let their guard down. There was? If we can talk to Monokuma, we can confirm it. And it'll be better for us if we go to him directly before he tracks us down. That should help with our negotiations. I'm still a little, no, super uneasy about this, but we don't really have a choice, do we? Indeed. Monokuma should be in the gym. Shall we go? Let's get going. And suddenly Biakia tackles us. Yes. We die instantly. The you died screen from dead um from the Souls game. Dark Souls, Dark yes. Souls. There we go. The Souls the games name. is really just accurate. Gim. Hello, Gim. Hey, 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 hey! Kyoko, I don't mind so much, but Makoto's supposed to be dead! What's he doing here? That's exactly how I thought he'd react. Are we really gonna be okay? 
You were supposed to be punished. Did Kyoko help you? What? So, what if I did? What will you do? If the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. It's unfortunate, but that is the rule. So now I gotta punish you again, and this time I won't leave anything to chance. Kyoko. Do whatever you feel you have to. What? But before you do, just let me say one thing. If you execute Makoto, that means you lose. Not that, that matters to you, right? I lose? You! Explain yourself! What do you mean by that? Because... Well, you set up this latest class trial yourself, right? I was getting in your way, so you wanted an excuse to kill me. In other words... I was supposed to be chosen as the black into the next executed, right? Hey, what are you talking about? But when Makoto chose to overlook my lie, your plan came crashing down. The results of the trial weren't at all what you were expecting. Because you never imagined that in that position, one person would protect another like that. Right. And in response to that unexpected development, Indeed. you reacted by proclaiming Makoto the Blackened and trying to execute him. You made the choice out of desperation, no more than that. You must have realized that Makoto, who refused to be manipulated, was a threat to you as well. However... But then there was another unexpected development waiting for you. An entity that would throw a wrench, so to speak, in your precious execution machinery. Alter ego. <laughs> Pun intent. Yeah. <laughs> you never imagined the possibility of being that... of a being that could come to our aid even after you'd killed it. Am I wrong? Now, here's the absolute truth. Makoto didn't kill Mukuro. You did. Listen to me. So executing Makoto thought would surely be a violation of your rules, which I know you love so much. If the Black is exposed, they alone will be executed. That's what you told us, right? And that means I lose? You talk a big game. You're saying the Black is me and not Makoto? And you can prove this, right? No, I can't. Don't just say it like that. What is this, a comedy routine? To make such bold claims without a shred of evidence. That doesn't matter. I don't have any right now, but with a little more time, I guarantee I'll find some. That's right. Because no matter how deeply you try to bury it, there's only ever one absolute truth. And now you're trying to talk to like some kind of famous detective type? Because... If Makoto really was the killer, he never would have come to you willingly like this. He would have feared for his life, feared another execution, he would have tried to run and hide. He would have been gripped by the despair you so love to inspire. However, But here we are, confronting you with nothing but hope in our hearts. And that's supposed to be enough to convince me in the absence of e evidence? Indeed. It's not you I'm trying to convince. Hey. If you were to execute Makoto now, everyone out there watching this would be extremely displeased. Huh? Indeed. Imagine what everyone out there would think of you if you killed Makoto. They would assume that you killed him because what we said is exactly right. Listen to me. Despair can never kill hope. Hey. Of course, you can say we're just making this all up. You're welcome to prove us wrong. No, you have no choice but to prove it. Because if you kill Makoto, Without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own <laughs> If you want to earn our despair fair and square, That's what we have to do. then I, I suggest you take my advice. So, what is this advice of yours? It's true. To do Mikuro's trial over again. Only this time, you follow the school regulations to ensure fair trial. It's time for one last It's time. Showdown. Oh, shit. One final, one battle, final between battle between hope and, and despair. despair. Hey. Shit, I said. Okay. Well, that would make for a proper climax, wouldn't you say? Don't say those words. A fair trial will not show down climax, in other words. Proper climax! Proper climax! Proper climax! This would be climax. our chance to expose the true identity of Mikuru's killer, of the Mastermind themselves. But what reason would the Mastermind have to accept the challenge? They'll probably just execute me without another word. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting indeed. Barry? What's wrong? 
Oh, I was just getting bored, so I decided to change things up a little, so time for bear jokes. Now, what you've made, what you suggest might be possible, but it certainly makes for one honey of a climax. In other words, does that mean that you accept? If we do things your way, that'll be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? And it would cost your unbearable despair, right? Then I'm prepared to agree to your terms. Will your hopes win out, or will my despair claim victory? Let's have one final grisly showdown! Dude, he agreed. Shut up. Then we still have a shot at this. But this is the long way to climax, right? Just guessing the killer is probably a fitting end. Barely a fitting end. So for this final face-off, you'll have to unearth all the mysteries that have been buried here. All the mysteries? That's right, every last mystery that's pawing around the school, if you can do that. Then that'll have to be enough to qualify Koalas as a... <laughs> aren't even bears. They're marsupials. As a victory for you. To be fair, he almost was a crab, so this really isn't... You know, he's not an expert. It's true. That's what we've been trying to do all along. Okay, well, good. Then let's bear it all. If you can claw your way to the truth of Mikuru's death and solve the mysteries of this school, then you win. But if you can't do all that... Well, will face occasion, right? <laughs> I can barely contain my excitement. When you learn the whole truth, what kind of despair will you show me? We're as excited as you are, I'm sure. Listen to me. When we've uncovered... Every last truth, how will the ultimate despair reveal their own despair? I honestly can't believe how this has all turned out. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Do you remember the rule? When one student kills another, that's when a class trial is held. What's wrong? I remember that for sure, so what? Hey. I just want to confirm that is what you said, right? And that is a true statement? Bingo. Checkmate. You don't have to be so suspicious. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. Everything's based on the school regulations, and having a trial for Mikuru is no exception to that. Huh? Mikuru's trial is no exception, then it's part of the regulations? Which would mean have to mean that whoever killed Mikuru... <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know, but okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I've told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in Hope's Peak to, since the Killing Big Game began are those 16 students. What? Listen. Are you telling the truth? Why do you go quiet all of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done talking. I got nothing left to say to you. So get lost, would ya? Why so mad? He seems emotionally unstable. Leave me alone! Get out of here! Okay, I'm going. I just... You're really gonna let me go? I don't even care anymore. You're all gonna get your punishment later anyway. I need to start getting it ready. A super duper extra special punishment overflowing with despair! <laughs> Come on, Makoto. Let's go. Get away from this freaky fucking okay. bear. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Morikuma's unstable laughter seemed to cling to us as we walked away. And just like that, we were out of the gym. And I was out of a job. I don't know why I said that. I'm going to be rich chief, don't even ask me. I could hardly believe it, but somehow I ended up not getting executed. Again. A second time. I still had my life and we still had a chance. Overall, things turned out way better than expected. Now I wonder how the other students are going to feel about me. Once again, I was in Kyoko's debt. Kyoko, thank you. Everything I have right now is because of you. Don't thank me just yet. The real battle is still ahead of us. Yeah, true. But still, I'm glad it worked out. I wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal. But honestly, why would the Mastermind agree to that? I mean, they don't stand to gain anything from a final showdown, do they? So... They had no choice but to accept. Huh? Because... It's all because of that one moment that the Mastermind let their guard down, like I said. So, when was it the Mastermind let their guard down? So... 
I wasn't there to hear it myself, but do you remember what the Mastermind said? They said they hijacked the airwaves to broadcast our school life to the outside world, right? Yeah, they definitely said that. Listen. And what did you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Well, I mean, the idea of actually taking over the airwaves seems so unbelievable. Indeed. You don't exactly read about something like that happening very often, so it's hard to imagine. In other words, that kind of thing is extremely difficult to pull off. However, And yet somehow the Mastermind was able to do it. In other words, But to think of it another way, there must have been some reason they had to do it. Something that difficult. A reason? So... They had to show the world something, no matter the cost us killing each other. They wanted to show the world. It would seem... The Mastermind had has been very adamant about not killing us directly, but forcing us to kill each other. And all their rules and regulations were designed to encourage them. Yeah, that makes sense. If those stupid regulations didn't exist, no one would have killed anyone. In other words... So the Mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other and show that off to the world. But why? Correct. To prove a point, most likely. Prove a point? Hey. The outside world has a name for the students of Hope's Peak, right? A certain concept? You're talking about Hope, right? That's right. And for those of us who represent Hope to kill each other and sink into despair... The Mastermind wants the world to see that try and prove that despair is better than hope. That's the goal as the ultimate despair. What? They want to prove that despair is better than hope? But that that's ridiculous. It's true. You're right, it is ridiculous, completely irrational. It's the kind of thing that nobody but those who call themselves the ultimate despair would devise. The group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. Is that really the only reason for making the rest of us suffer? Dakota. I know how angry it must make you, and yet... That same motivation is what led the Mastermind to revealing their weakness. What? In other words... Because their goal is to broadcast this killing game to the world. The Mastermind has to be more particular than is reasonable about their own regulation. If the Mastermind simply ignored their rules, this wouldn't have been a game, but a one-sided slaughter. At the very least... At least, that's... Oh, I thought you were saying it. That's how those who are watching this would have seen it. And that's why the Mastermind couldn't kill any of us themselves. Indeed. That is precisely the reason. No matter how much they hate what I'm doing, I haven't violated a single one of the regulations. Junko broke the rules, so she was punished, but in my case, they couldn't lay a finger on me. Right. So, instead, they tried to use the class trial, following all their proper rules, to get me killed. They began a trial that didn't have a right answer, then made me up to be the killer. But even that didn't work. It's true. Yes, thanks to you. And due to that failure, the Mastermind took yet another risk. They attempted to kill you instead, who also was not the killer. And then that fact was exposed live on TV to the out entire outside world. The Mastermind had to accept your suggestion? Indeed. To prove to the world that despair is better than hope, they have to defeat us in perfect form. In other words... In would only do the Mastermind harm to have shown that they'd violated their own regulations. But all that was a hunch, right? And you were still able to get the Mastermind to accept your challenge. However, well, it's only thanks to you that we got that chance, because you believed to me another path opened up. Because I had hope. Still, I can't believe how much of the Mastermind's thoughts and plans you were able to figure out. I didn't have the slightest clue. Wrong. In the end, though, I couldn't prove any of it. It was just my reason reasoning, and essentially I was just making a bet. <sighs> but it looks like I got it right. This time. At least, I won the bet. Did you get Celeste's ultimate skill? Is that why you were able to do this? Yes. I see. You You, you guys hung out. Just the ultimate ability suckler. I don't know. My brain couldn't think of a better <laughs> word. I was more so implying that they hung out and she got some of the skills that Celeste had. But yeah, sure. She had all the quick sigh. It, I took it as a small sign of relief. 
To be honest, I haven't been that nervous in a long time. I totally couldn't tell you were nervous at all. You seemed totally confident from the moment we decided to go talk to him. Well, presenting a strong demeanor is a fundamental part of negotiation and persuasion, wouldn't you say? Plus, if I'd showed my uneasiness, that would have just made you that much more uneasy, you fucking pussy! Yeah, you're probably right. How pathetic. However... Anyway, we can't just relax yet. We can't relax just... All we've done is earned another chance to fight. We have to win this game. Correct. Or everything we've gone through will have been for nothing. You're right. If we can't defeat the Mastermind, it'll cost us our lives. There's no ex option except to win. Okay. But before we begin the final battle, we have to tell the others what's going on. True, but now we know who our real enemy is. All we have to do now is work together with everyone to destroy the Mastermind. Work together with everyone. However, is that really possible? Huh? Anyway. anyway, right now we have to go find the others. Well, that would be because she believes one of them is the mastermind. As it had to have been a student. That was what the regulation said. Shall we go? They're probably in the dorm somewhere. Shall we go? Not I'll give you one story. guess to where they are. I'm gonna guess the dining hall. Oh my god, that's crazy. I don't see how that could happen. That seems so extremely it's... unlikely. By the way, it's nighttime. The dining hall should be locked. Um, well, I mean, not all nighttime is the time when the dining hall is locked. Like, it says nighttime before Monokuma says that it's nighttime. Nighttime for Monokuma means bedtime, like go to sleep. But nighttime starts before that. Well, just before that. It goes into nighttime, and we've spent a while in nighttime now. So, I'm gonna say that this is more of the same bullshit that happened during, like, Class Trial 2, where nighttime doesn't actually mean anything. These doors just actually never lock, I think. And suddenly, we were greeted with... Oh my god, Monokuma's the bottom. You just key smashed. You're right. You again. Oh hey, it's his IP address. Okay. Only alter ego is here. Is he broken? I suppose his emotional instability reached its limit. Access for some Sunak 61? Senpai. She's what the heck? However, what the heck? I wonder what that was all about. I couldn't help but let us sigh of relief. I think that's you. Ah! Alcina? Yeah. Pretty sure, yeah. Is that Makoto? Y you guys! It is! There's no two ways about it. That's Makoto! I mean, y'all saw him not die, so. You survived? I mean, we fell down a trash heap. Like, a mile down a trash heap. <laughs> You're like a stubborn little cockroach, you know that? I'm just asking to make sure- And you're a bitch-ass cunt, you know that? Ghost, right? Everyone was there, all my friends who had struggled together and survived. Friends is a big word, Mikado. I don't know if you want to call all these people your friends. Almost as big as Asina's boobs. As soon as I saw their faces, I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. What? I started sobbing. Wait, what's that smell? What the heck? Yeah, man, that seriously stinks. <laughs> It's Makoto. He smells like a wet dog. Get away. Hew, hew. And in a flash, my tears dried up. Specifically you. Togo, I'm getting closer. Are uh, you kink? Are you rotting? I'm telling you. R rot physically. Mentally. Every way you can be rotten. Sorry, I was rolling around in garbage for a while. You should uh, know what that's like. The Humeli. Yo, Humeli. Ah, Huber Humeli. Humeli even worse than me. Way worse than me. <laughs> I win. She seems happy for some reason. So what have you guys been doing while I was gone? Well, we figured since the trial was over, we'd have access to new places again. And? 
no dice. All the rooms that were locked before were still locked. So there weren't any new areas. Then where can we go to find some new clues? Second floor. Hey, idiot. Yo. Makoto, what is like hanging out in the spirit world? I didn't go to the spirit world. Yo. Did you get to talk to her? Who? Miss hmm. Cleo. <sighs> no, I didn't talk to her. I mean, I didn't go to the spirit world. I mean, who the heck is Miss Cleo? Byakagon. I still can't believe you survived. Yeah, me either. Do you realize why it is you escaped execution? It was alter ego. He saved my life. That's right. Not too many people can say they had their lives saved by a computer program. I imagine it was a learning experience for you. Makoto. There's no time to indulge in an extended happy reunion. I've already literally talked to everyone. We need to explain to everyone what happened with Monokuma. Yes. Explain? Explain what? Hmm. But is it okay that you're here? What if the mastermind catches you? That's related to what I have to tell you all. I need to tell you all about the last class trial. Last class trial? In other words... We're going to redo Mukuro's trial. Huh? What? Seriously? How about that? What's the point of redoing him? Makoto killed her, right? No. No, I didn't do it. Like I keep telling you. Wrong. Makoto isn't the killer, and of course it's not me or any of you. Huh? Thank you. Yeah, who is it? I see. What she's saying is it was all the work of the mastermind. Huh? What you're saying the mastermind killed Mugro? That's right. It was all an elaborate trap contrived by the mastermind. Makoto spotted the trap in time and did what he had to do to stop. However, but his decision meant that he would be the one to die. What, what did you, you say? You spotted the trap, did you, Makoto? You make it sound like it was easy, I just, you know... But executing Makoto, who wasn't the Blackhand, is a clear violation of the school regulations. The rules state that only the Blackhand is to be executed, the Mastermind broke their own rules. Which is why I went and negotiated with them to have the trial one more time. Huh? And the Mastermind agreed? Does that mean they really did break the rules? They had no choice but to agree. You used the TV broadcast to gain the levers you needed, didn't you? Correct. Very observant of you. Naturally. I recall what you said at the end of the last trial. When you said, now it's the mastermind that's ensnared, that's what you were referring to. Don't be mean! Hey, I'm totally in the dark here! <laughs> For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Kyoko to explain it later. Again, wait. <laughs> Whatever. Yo, knowing all this, what do we do now? It's about who killed Mukuro, right? So our job is to expose the mastermind? Hmm. But there's more to it than, than that, correct? Um, yeah. For us to win this time, we have to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. Every last mystery? But we've been looking around all this time and we still don't know anything, right? I mean, what kind of mysteries do we even have? We already figured out what Chiro was. So, I mean, not a lot left, I don't know. Hmm. You've probably guessed already, but if we lose this time, everyone dies. Everyone? Okay, who said you could agree to those terms? Talking to the rest of us. I'm fine with the way things are. I'm fine living here forever with my master. I meanwhile want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Anyway. Anyway, at this point, the only way for us to survive is to unravel the truth. Hmm. In other words, one decisive final battle. A rather interesting development, I'd say. But, but figuring out who the mastermind is and how they killed Mukuro and all the school's mysteries? Uh, it's a pretty tall friggin' order. Maybe, but this time the, the trial is different. We know who our enemy is now. So if we work together and search as hard as we can, I'm sure we'll solve all those mysteries. I'm not so sure about that. Huh? I... I can't agree with the idea of working together with everyone. You can't agree, why not? I mean, working together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve all the mysteries. 
That's what I thought too at first. Until Monokuma gave us that little hint of his. Hint? Monokuma said that, did he? Then Kyoko's opinion is perfectly reasonable. Huh? But why? So in other words, if the Mastermind is really the one who killed Mukuro, as Kyoko says, then the Mastermind would have had to set foot in the school, right? Monokuma could probably murder M Mukuro, but there's no way he could have disguised the scene like that. Words, but according to Monokuma, the only people who have set foot in Hope's Peak are the 16 students who have been taking part in the killing game. Again, the Mastermind is... There were 15 of us in the main hall at the very beginning. Add in Mukuro when you get kicking. Huh? Yo, the Mastermind would have to be one of them? That's right. And one of the 16 people we started out with, the only one still alive, are the people standing right here. Need I continue, or do you get it now? Huh? What, you're saying the Mastermind is one of us? Wait, we can't say for sure that's true yet. Monokuma might have just said that all to confuse us. Indeed. It's certainly a possibility, but only one among many. The mastermind being one of us is also a possibility. And that is one possibility we can't ignore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they're an ultimate, right? The ultimate despair? Yo, they might be a high schooler! You can't say anything not possible! But if one of us was the mastermind, they'd have to be controlling Monokuma somehow, right? But did you ever see anyone acting suspicious any time Monokuma was active? Well... Um, maybe they hung a off and controlled him in secret. I don't care how sneaky you are, we would have noticed someone sneaking off so that many times. Uh, Mukuro. Mukuro could have been controlling any time that the Mastermind was present with us. I'm right, right? Then maybe Monokuma was on autopilot. Maybe they loaded up all the dialogue and actions beforehand. In that case, there's no way he could have had all those back and forth conversations with us. Hmm. Well, it wouldn't be entirely impossible if they directed the flow of the conversation. Well, maybe, but still. Dong, bing, bong. That's different. You've all probably figured this out by now, but at this point, the killing game has now entered true ending mode. So, in the name of fairness, I will unlock every room in the school. Look wherever you want. Solve the mystery in whatever way you see fit. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? Yeah! Hmm? How very magnanimous of him to unlock all the rooms. That's fine. The time for talk is done. Now we need to begin our investigation. But I was planning on working alone from the beginning anyway. The At this point, I can rely only on only on myself on the Togami blood flowing through my veins. Hmm. I have no time to worry about the rest of you. Each of you must uphold your responsibility. Fine. Well then. After making his final statement, Byakuyan left the dining hall. You master! He can keep me with him! Hey. Do you blame him? You without master, the rest of you were like... Coffee without cream! With cream without the cream! Or coffee! Um... You're totally useless! Have you never heard of an Americano? Or just a black coffee? Kill bye! With that, Tucko trudged out of the dining hall. And now she's gone. And you're gonna go off by yourself, right, Kyoko? That's right. Hmm. Which just leaves Makoto, Hina, and me. You know? In that case, I'm gonna go off by myself, too. Just a second. Wait, how come? How about that? 
Just wait and see. I'm going to use my totally awesome spiritual power to figure out the mastermind's identity. <laughs> so, there's a 30% chance he'll succeed. Offering a lot of the way, Hero left the dining hall. Everyone's really going to go off by themselves? Not necessarily. What about you, Hina? Um, I guess I'll do the same thing. I mean, it's not that I don't trust everyone, you know? Cause, I mean... But up till now, I haven't really been all that useful. I mean, you've been a joy. You've, you've, you've sparked hope. You're the comedic relief in the apocalypse. The comedic relief, unlike the stupid relief over there. Yeah. Watch, watch this hero walk out of the room. I just depended on Sakura and everyone else. You're not useless. If you hadn't been here, I would have died. M Makoto! <laughs> That's really nice of you to say. But... but still, I know I've mostly been totally useless. Okay. So I figure at least here at the end, maybe I can find something that'll help us all get out of here. Do it. So I'm gonna go do off it. and do it all on my own. Do it. <laughs> do it. Okay, see you later. She heard us say do it. Hina was in surprising high spirits as she dashed out of the dining hall. And once again, it's just us mm -hmm. two. Indeed. Dot com. I, I like how this just, you know, went smooth jazz on us. So you're gonna go off on your own too, right, Kyoko? Well, don't misunderstand. Just because we're going to do our searches separately doesn't mean we can't still work together. So... That goes for all of us. I think I see what you mean. Doing our own investigation doesn't mean we can't work together in the end. I should just see it as this was splitting up to cover more ground. Let's split up, gang! And then we can get back together and share what we found. Yeah, that's right. So well, I'd better get going. I have an endless list of things that I need to check. Correct. Monokuma said all the doors in the school have been unlocked, right? So we should be able to investigate every nook and cranny in the school. We can visit all the places we couldn't go before. Makoto, no matter what it takes, we have to uncover the truth. By any means necessary. With that, Kyoko was gone. <sighs> Leaving only me. I don't have time to waste either. I have to begin my search. I still can't believe the Mastermind might be one of us. Boom, boom. So that's why I have to prove. I'll prove the Mastermind isn't one of us. I'll expose the Mastermind's true identity and solve the mystery of the school. And then we can all escape together. I guess I'll start by taking another look at Mukuro's Monokuma file. Due to an explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. Once we find out who killed Mikuru Saba, 16 students hidden somewhere in the school, the ultimate despair watch out, then we'll find know who the true mastermind is. So where should I start my investigation to figure out who killed her? I guess I should start with the rooms that were locked up until now. Headmaster's room, the bio lab, and the door in front of the data center with Monokuma's face on it. Oh, and the second floor, the dorms where the gate was down before. That should be open now, right? After that, I'll have to double check the areas that are connected to the murder, which means the garden and the dojo. Okay, time to get started. Okay. Alright guys, next time on Let's Play wow. Rumpa, we're gonna be doing the final investigation next episode or maybe one episode after that probably two episodes from now is the finale no i think one more we one for the one. investigation and part of the trial i'm gonna assume the final cutscene and everything it'll be a two-parter so maybe on the at least on the same yeah, day i'll figure out how to do it we'll do it all together it's all me i don't know what we're talking about but <laughs> cassie what? doesn't exist Cassie was an imagination all along. Well, damn, could you imagine me a little less tired, please? 